Okay, so today I went to a friend's studio because there was a production going on where they are going to um, help 10,000 families um, buy houses. Um, gosh, I'm drawing blank right now. <laughs> Pastor McKenzie, I can't remember her first, Sabrina, Sabrina McKenzie. Okay, if you Google her, look her up on Facebook, find the information, because I can't think of everything right now. But she had an event at my friend's uh, studio today, and um, there were some speakers there, some lenders, and some, you know, a few actors and actresses and things like that, and they were giving out some great information about how you can buy a house like they were saying you can buy a house with like a 580 credit score you know and they were telling you how you can do things to get your rent um to get your um credit score increased like you can report your rent payments and that helps your credit score like you paying your rent on time etc cetera, etc cetera. i don't know how it works i'm just saying if I were you, I would look into the shit, because I am. I already got the tab pulled up on my phone. I just got to look at it later. So anyway, this is what's going on. And prior to the event starting, I decided to go to the back and get something to eat and uh, with someone else. And there was a woman back there with a little girl. And the, the woman was, she was really pretty, you know? And the little girl was, she was a little cutie too. They both had, you know, like the mom had like puff at the top and the baby had her little, and she had her little boots on, her little raincoat looking, you know, trench coat or whatever. And then she was so cute. And so I went over and, and the, the mother and me <laughs> went over and squatted down. I'm talking to her and the mom, you know, and I was complimenting her, telling her her shoes were cute and her, I like her jacket, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I asked the little girl what her name was. And she said that her name was Ella. And when she said, Ella, I said, um, you're so, I said, um, I said, you're so pretty, Ella. I said, you're so smart too. And I looked at her mom and said, look at those dimples, you know? And um, I left out. So a little bit later, we're listening to the speakers speak and whatnot. And um, Bradley James, is one of the speakers now Bradley James I believe has played on some episodes of uh well he's he's a um, player in um the haves and the have-nots and some other things I'm not sure of because I don't watch a lot of tv sorry but his name is Bradley James and this is gonna kind of give away the story but what else just know that this is my train of thought at this time I'm like, oh, I know that guy's seen on a few episodes of something in a few movies. I just don't know his name, like, but I know he's a working actor. Cool, you know? And so when he got introduced, the um, Sabrina said something about, you know, his wife being there. And I'm like, oh, that was his wife, the pretty lady with the with the with the cute baby and stuff. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you got a cute, you got a cute, you got a cute little family, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, that's cool. So they're talking, he's talking, and he said something about being at home with Keisha. And I was like, like literally, SMH, Keisha. And I looked over and I see this woman, you know, I see Keisha <laughs> over to the side, you know, proudly watching. She's got her phone out recording. And their daughter is squatting down with her tablet and she's recording too. It was so freaking cute. Like I took a picture of them from the back and I was like, you want me to send this to you? And she said, yeah, sure. So I, and I said, Keisha. <laughs> Bitch, I said, Keisha. She said, yeah. So I dropped it to her, you know, and then, um, <laughs> So her friend, you know, he finishes speaking and they he comes off and talks to her or whatever. And we go about the rest of, you know, the other speakers speaking and shit. And then at the end of the night, um, I was standing there and it just hit me. I was like, oh, shit. That's Keisha Knight Pulliam. My 
ass was talking to fucking Rudy that whole goddamn time. And I was like, that's crazy. And I was thinking, that's probably why she was looking at me like, like, I don't know. I wasn't starstruck or anything, but and I was, I was, it was, I had the tendency to talk to people like I already know them. Um, and I was just, when I saw her initially with her daughter, you know, the mom in me connected with the mom in her. And I just, my children live in a different state now. Um, well, I live in a different state for my children. And it just, you know, when mamas see other mamas mamaying, we just, it's like a bond. It's like a, a unspoken membership club. Like we understand each other. We get it and, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so when I noticed that they were getting ready to leave, I went up to her and I said, excuse me, Keisha, do you mind taking a picture with me? And she was like, sure. So she took a picture with me and, um, yeah. So that's how I met Keisha Knight Pulliam. Just making memories. <laughs> so I will get back with y'all later. I really do promise to give you regular content again because I'm just so excited and I have so much to share now. So ta-ta.